All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Foot Giants, and now we have Amanda here with us. Amanda, how are you feeling? Uh, nervous, um, but excited. Very similar to the last time I met you yes. too. Yes, <laughs> so Aussie holiday stays. Coming to meet the Perth Giants. You're number two of the rank. So, are you going in there with confidence to be able to get some support for your, for your business? I'm very confident, but yes. nervous, uh, and uh, just excited to get in there and have the experience. And what are you offering? What, 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 what sort of give us a little bit of an insight of what you're seeking today? Oh, well, investment always helps, especially yes. when you're going up against some multinational competitors. So, hopefully, the Giants are on board, but also connections with some industry leaders, uh, which is just so important in business. Indeed. Absolutely. We wish you the best, and I'm sure you'll get what you're looking for Good today. Luck. Thanks very so good. much, guys. All the best. <laughs> Hello. Good? Yep. Great. Um, my name is Amanda Walker. I'm from Lilliton in Perth and I am the CEO of Aussie Holiday Stays. We're looking to give an investor 20% equity for a $500,000 investment based on a pre-cash valuation of $2 million. Can I invite you all to close your eyes for a second? I would like you to imagine that you're in your favourite holiday destination, surrounded by the people you love more than anyone else in the world, sharing communal space and creating lifelong memories. Please open your eyes. Helping our guests create those lifelong memories brings me a lot of joy. Aussie Holiday Stays is an online booking platform with heart for Australian holiday accommodation. We pride ourselves on our values of integrity, community and sustainability. We live that by lower booking fees, better customer service and promoting sustainable tourism by working with local governments and uh, national go uh, state governments to only allow registered properties to list on our site. The short-term market is massive, with $1 billion in a year in Australia alone. And we've had some great traction with our minimum viable product, WA Homestay. We're due to launch our national site in a couple of weeks, and we can't wait to share that journey with you. And I just wanted to thank you very much for your time. Hmm. What's the difference between, you know, what's the major difference between what you are envisaging and what uh, the, the, uh, the the market of the what's it called Airbnb. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we started this journey back in March 2018 when stays changed to their international booking platform, Home Away. We were a holiday homeowner uh, with a property down south and we saw an increase in fees, decrease in customer service and a general disconnect from the local community. So we just saw an opportunity to make a difference and industry got behind us and we had properties list with us, guests book with us based on WA Homestay, which was our MVP. So. What we initially went, we can do it for less commission because Stays was working on a 10% commission model. We felt that was fair as a holiday home owner, ourselves, and a guest, because I use holiday homes quite a bit as a family of five. When we got into it, we realised how important sustainable tourism was. There's been an uproar with the rise in unregistered properties and seeing on these booking platforms. State governments are trying to legislate uh, across Australia and in, in fact the world in relation to trying to pin back the unregistered properties listing on these booking platforms that are eroding things like long-term rental opportunities for locals. So we saw a real opportunity to make a difference and work with local uh, governments and state governments to ensure only registered properties list. And finally, the, the local angle of working with organisations like Waytop, the West Australian Indigenous Tourism Council, uh, and other local businesses, uh, insurance businesses, and corporate travel. By being a local business, you can do things to make people's lives easier rather than the soulless uh, multinational competitors. So that's where we've seen our traction. You've got some revenue projections here, 1.2 mil gross revenue, 22, 23. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, uh, by the third year, 17 million. Yes. So quite a growth. Yes. Um, so just to understand what the sort of business model you're working for, working with, at 17 million turnover, it's quite a bit of growth in three years. Uh, what sort of net are you expecting out of that 17, or is it just purely reinvesting every every dollar? So it's an interesting um, interesting case with two-way market systems. Valuations are often uh, based on the total revenue flowing through the site. So when we're talking those figures, it's the total revenue coming through our site. 
but the majority of that goes to our host. So our actual corporate revenue model will only be 10% of that figure because that's our commission-based model. Yep. So the valuations are based on the gross revenue flowing through, but our actual company revenue, for want of a better word, of what I'm going to play with, oh. is 10% of that. Which is 1.7 million. Correct. Yeah. Yes, for the if you 10% of everything oh. yep. that you're, you're needing. Now, in relation to that, um, it all goes back to, you've got two by well, marketplace, so it's the houses on board and the guests. We've worked out through WA Homestay how to get our housing stock up. So we're currently working through certification with RMS, which is one of the biggest property management softwares in Australia. We're looking, 500 properties were on WA Homestay, which we were able to get the revenue figures that you've seen. Uh, we're looking to get 1,000 plus more. You've got Quest Apartments that use RMS. There's about 500 properties in WA alone that we're already connected to that use RMS. And you extrapolate that nationwide, and you're looking at some very exciting figures um, to go forward with. So why, why would someone come in through you and not Quest or, um, or Airbnb? Um, is it because the quality of the housing you're referring to is higher, better, yep. more comfortable? To be honest, I think the foot in the door is the fact that we're cheaper. So any property, regardless of, so we do 5% and 5%. For owners, there's 5% uh, charge and a 5% charge for guests. Mm -hmm. Airbnb is a 3% charge for hosts and up to a 20% commission rate for, for guests. Mm -hmm. So regardless of, even if our properties managers and property owners increase our property price by 5%, we still beat Airbnb and the tail end of the amount that they're charging. Booking.com is 17.5%, Home and Away is the same. Um, so from a price perspective, that's the foot in the door. Since COVID, we've seen a huge uptake in support for local businesses. People are wanting to keep booking monies in Australia. They're starting to understand how important a strong Australian economy is. So while before with WA Homestay, pre-COVID, we saw a lot of um, excitement from 55 plus that seemed to really resonate the Australian made kind of idea. Now it's across generations. People are wanting to see booking monies in Australia. The other thing is when something goes wrong, we're on the other end. So the repeat business from WA Homestay, a lot of the time was when they had an issue with the booking or something didn't quite go right, we're able to fix it. Um, hosts as well, there's no international booking, um, there's no international call centre. So the hosts have stayed with me on this journey, and really, they don't have to, but they want to see a local um, organisation succeed because we're easier to deal with. So, so part of your pitch is the whole buy local piece yes. and I guess the ethical pitch as well and yes. you mentioned before that you have only have registered properties so I guess right. there's been a lot of um, you know um, for I guess the Airbnb the fact that it's taking homes off the market we're in an affordable housing crisis so you know how do you position your business in terms of that affordable housing crisis and, and lack of rentals whereas this is purely holiday? Yes yeah, certainly I mean we've turned houses away so City of Buston is a great um, a great example they are a huge holiday home mecca you know they've had that down there, that's where I started going from a five-year-old girl um, holidaying home, uh, holidaying down there. And they've got a really strong registration process in place. However, there's still properties in that area that are listing unregistered on these booking platforms. And the rental crisis down there is significant, especially with the Shire of Margaret River and Augusta. So I work with the City of Busselton. We actually send off a list of addresses, that list on our property, and they say whether they're registered or not. And we're looking to automate that. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.